Hey guys, welcome back to the Mina Does Art Stuff YouTube channel. My name is Mina and on this channel we do art stuff. So, for Christmas I got a bunch of these flash paints um, as a gift from my two wonderful children and um, I thought I would go ahead and swatch these out and we can see how they look. Oops, sorry for the camera shaking, um, did not mean to do that. We'll see how, how they look and then we'll also test them out with mixed media and to see how they work with um, other mediums on top. I'm just gonna adjust the camera before I start the swatching so hopefully they won't get as much shaky shaky. don't know why it's shaking so much. Um, but yeah, so I will go ahead and do that. I will have links down below to where you can find this paint online. And yeah, I'll set the swatching portion to music and then we'll come back at the end, have a bit of a chat, try out a few different mediums over the top once they're dried and we can see how they go. I've also got some of the new acrylic brushes that I got recently that I shared in a haul video. Um, so we might test some of these out and see how they work as well with the, with the acrylic paints. So I say, sorry, they're not actually acrylic, they're emul they're vinyl emul emulsion, which I guess is a kind of acrylic paint, but they dry with a really matte finish, which is why I was really interested in them. So we are gonna, we're gonna swatch these out and see how they look. All right, hey guys. So, oops, sorry there. Um, it's not completely dry yet, but I am fast losing the light today and I wanna get this video filmed before we're in pitch black. So we're gonna do the best we can. Uh, so I've got a variety of um, materials here. I've got a black wing pencil, I've got some new colors, got a fine liner, Posca pen, a Karen Deco brush, so a couple of different acrylic paint markers woody three-in-ones um, and then a variety of different types of pencils so we're going to test them out and see how they work on this um, on top of this paint so you can see here everything is dried other than the couple these two swatches haven't fully dried yet they're still a bit wet um, most of it's dried it's very matte and yeah really nice sort of textured um, like smooth texture finish uh, some of the more transparent colors have turned out a little bit streaky that's absolutely fine. Um, yeah, so I'd say the most streaky colours are the magenta, still, still de grain green and terra vert. Um, I feel like with the terra vert it wouldn't be so bad if I put a bit more paint down. That was quite a dry uh, swatch. The white is somewhat opaque but not completely so you can still see the black coming through but I think just a couple of layers and it would be absolutely fine. So this is just like one layer, one coat of white on this one. Um, all right, so I'm going to start with the black wing and just sort of see 
how well this all shows up on top. It draws really easily. It's just really nice to draw on top. Yeah, really, really nice um, sort of feeling under the pencil as well. So that's the black wing, works well. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit more so you can see. There we go. All right, then we'll try the Neo colors and see how these go down. Um, and yeah, goes over really nicely. No issue there in terms of coverage. Nice and easy, no sort of resisting the, the crayons, I guess. The woody three-in-ones, we'll try the white over the black. Yeah, that works quite nicely. It's not super opaque, but it works. So with the Prussian blue and the Bodaccio. And it's a, sort of like a limey green color. Yeah. So yeah, they go over the paints quite nicely, like I said, without any sort of real issues. It's always good. Um, I'll try the fine liner. Oh, that's really nice. That. that draws really smoothly over the paint, doesn't catch. It's um Yeah. That works nicely. And the deco brush. super opaque but it is working fine it's not got like a resist or anything um yeah i say this works fine over these but it's just um not this particular color is not particularly opaque oh seems to have picked up some of the black maybe the black's not completely dry but yeah it works and then the Posca. As expected, this also works really well. Okay. Then we'll move on to colour pencils. I have a couple from a variety of, like two of each from a couple of different brands so we can check out the different options. So here I have a Prismacolor in pomegranate. That's beautiful. No real issues. That one. Then I also have it in olive green, I believe. Yep. well so prisma colors are fine um and then i've got the faber castell polychromos yep that also works really well honestly like i don't foresee having any issues with any of these supplies this is another polychromos and karen national luminance this one's in burnt sienna 10 percent again absolutely zero problems going over any of these these colors this one's beryl green I think yep and I have a couple of Posca pencils so we have green down here lays down well and this one's bright yellow We have Dermot Lightfast in Dark Honey. And then I have Dermot Colour Soft in Lincoln Green. My hand in a bit of wet paint. Colour Soft works well. 
then we have a few of the Derwent drawing pencils. So there's ink blue. Super smooth. White, so I'm going to use, yeah, so it's nice and opaque. And sanguine. So again, works well over all of these colours. Yep. So I'd say it works well with a variety of mediums over top, which I think is why a lot of artists really like this paint. I've seen a few artists recently using these paints. The first person I saw um, who paints with these and really enjoys them was Sandy Hester. And I'll try and remember to link her YouTube channel below. Um, she's the first person I've seen who, using these paints. And yeah, um, I definitely feel like they'd be really versatile as like a, if you if you're into mixed media and you want to use them as like a base layer to then put more mediums on top either other paints or like dry media like uh, pencils and uh, wax crayons or um, like the neo colors or pastels or anything like that over top would work really well it has zero issues with any other medium going on top all right so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys next time take care and i'll see you soon bye